Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Thursday, the 10th of November 2022. So US stocks declined uh, amid crypto contagion. That's the second day that uh, the Bitcoin and cryptos have been monkey hammered. It makes you wonder whether it's intentional. Stocks sold and dollar bid as currency crash deepens uh, into uh, CPI numbers, which of course we've got uh, this morning. And uh, global energy-driven inflation may ease as China sees lower growth. So you're already priming us today for a lower number to moonshoot the markets to the upside. The news is out there, the uh, dropping the hints, as it were. And this is uh, very interesting. Speaking of um, Bitcoin and uh, the crash that's uh, currently going on in that, uh, Federal Reserve announces full-scale trial run for implementation of US dollar replacement 2023. Very interesting. That means they're going to have to crash the system or continue to crash the system in order to introduce this. They have to create the problem, get your reaction and then introduce it. But this is the terrifying aspect. One word describes this scary new currency, programmable. So if you're a bad citizen, don't do as you're told, then uh, you will find that it will be switched off. Terrifying is the only word I can think of there. I also uh, going to make a prediction here as well. Somebody who's uh, who's a very big fan of um, the precious metals in full ownership in your own possession, uh, that uh, they'll probably stop the, the sale of uh, such items as well, because when they go full um, crypto dollar, pound, and I mean, the Bank of England are already talking about this, you're going to have to go and have a look at their website uh, to see this. And in fact, let me bring it up for you. So here you can see that um, we actually have the website is dedicated to it, the Bank of England.co.uk. That always worries me. I always thought it would have been .org, not a business registered uh, domain, but it is. Um, so, yeah, let's just click on this and see what we've got, shall we? UK Central Bank, hang on, let's get rid of this. Uh, UK Central uh, Bank Digital Currency. So you can see they're already working on this. And also, The Telegraph released an article a few days ago as well about how they could actually program it. Like I say, it's um, it terrifies me, frankly, because you're going to lose uh, that one freedom of choice of cash or card, etc. And also the fact that everything that you spend will be able to be um, streamed back to the government. They'll be able to track you in everything you actually spend. And again, which is why I'm an advocate of uh, owning physical gold and silver, because that's going to become the black market currency, isn't it? As it was in the old days and days gone by, and people will trade favours. It seems a bit far-fetched, but it's there in black and white or blue and white for you there to see. And like I say, they're already, uh, looks like they're going to do a full test of this. Again, it's not new to me, it's something that's been coming down the line for years, and that's why you're seeing what's going on in the currency markets and with inflation, etc., because this is the ultimate goal of, of the World Economic Forum and the elite is to have uh, full control over every aspect of your life and particularly the financial side because then they'll be able to determine whether you're a good citizen or not and whether you should be allowed to uh, spend money or not. And also they'll be able to date stamp it so if you don't spend it within a, a certain amount of time then it will evaporate. Far-fetched? We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Anyway, back to more concerning things uh, for today. We've got um, the CPI numbers uh, out today. They're uh, forecast at uh, 7.9 annually, 8.2 last time. We know they're going to uh, fudge these. The market's going to be coming out lower than uh, the 8.2. Let's put it this way. I'll be very surprised if they don't, given that the midterm... Uh, uh, situation as well. Still waiting for votes on that. Bit of a damp squib. The Republicans haven't got uh, a flush of red across the board. So another reason why the markets probably uh, were sideways to lower yesterday along with the, uh, the obviously the decline in the crypto uh, markets. Makes you wonder whether that's engineered as well, doesn't it? Just so that uh, they can uh, bring in this trial of the uh, central bank uh, CDCs, CBDCs, central bank digital currencies. So yeah, CPI numbers are the ones today, and uh, that's the, the main news for uh, today at 1.30 p.m. Gold silver ratio, market uh, sideways there, and uh, yeah, let's get on, have a look at uh, the markets for yesterday. 
So starting off with the Dow, we can see that uh, we've got some support at the 200 MA market down yesterday. Landing at this point just needs to get back above the five bar moving average in order to move higher. Overnight, uh, we're seeing the market just trading above uh, yesterday's low. It needs to stay above this in order to uh, get back to the upside. It's going to be waiting for the CPI numbers, that's for sure. But yesterday, you can see the market declining as the Republicans didn't get the results that they were hoping for. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if the market can actually hold the low. If it doesn't, then uh, we're going to take out that 200 MA and move down a bit. But today they have got the prospect of lower CPI numbers, which will again uh, increase speculation of the Fed pivot and uh, that there'll be no more rate increases. I very much doubt that, but uh, that's how the market will be used. And then they can moon shoot the market back above the highs, which they will take advantage of. There's no doubt about that as we go into the end of year Santa rally. In the German DAX, uh, just below the 200 MA for yesterday, a bit of supply coming into the market. Uh, also, we've got a bit of divergence as well as the market's attempting to move higher. It's running out of steam a bit here. Uh, sitting above the 200 and the 5 bar moving average uh, at, uh, overnight. Let's just drag this over a bit. Yeah, so just sitting on the 200 MA at the moment. In the 30 minute chart, uh, so basically what you're looking at is... Uh, this area for yesterday, the close is at the 200 MA. So if you're trading any chart time frame, you can just look at the close and know that's around the 200 MA. Got the uh, low there. If the market uh, takes that out, then we'll have a bit of a move to the downside. Like I say, it's all dependent today on the CPI numbers. Five minute chart uh, overnight is again sitting on that close that's the, around the 200 uh, ma and you can see how that's uh, lent support to the market i've done many trades this week uh, we've had the prior the midterms and uh, i've had to do a few other things so uh, hopefully today i will remain at the desk and um, take advantage of the cpi numbers when they come out at 1 30. in the s p uh, sideways to lower yesterday as well retracement going on there below all of the uh, averages actually 250 520 and uh, sitting at yesterday's low I suspect yeah uh, there we are so again just bouncing around at this level I expect the sideways move to continue in all of these markets until around 130 unless something else comes out to move the markets uh, the FTSE also closing below the five bar moving average yesterday. Prices uh, below the five bar overnight uh, as well. And in the 30 minute chart, again, uh, watch yesterday's low. It's going to be important to try and drag the market off this and get back up to uh, yesterday's high to keep that momentum moving. In the GBP JPY, big move to the downside yesterday as the dollar managed to. Uh, move higher you can see there we were down uh, a good uh, 200 points on the gbp jpy market sideways again not too dissimilar from the dow trying to hold above uh, yesterday's low need to get above the dp and the 50 ema in order to move higher and then you've got the 200 ma in the way there as well the pound also uh, down day yesterday as the dollar regained a little uh, back above the 20 bar moving average at the moment on the overnight needs to get back above the 5 and the 50 in the 30 minute chart so you can see there's the low for yesterday and uh, like the GBP JPY we need to get back above the 50 the 200 MA and the DP if we are to move higher this will offer a resistance at this point and finally, uh, US dollar yesterday showing demand ahead of the CPI numbers today. Reversal up to the 50 EMA failed there and is now closing or trading below the five bar moving average in the daily chart. In the 30 minute chart, you can see that we're sitting at the DP, sitting on the 50 EMA. If the market fails to hold here, then we'll see prices moving down and retesting the lows. Meanwhile, silver continues to hold a bit of selling around yesterday or absorption of uh, the sell orders need to get above the 200 MA in the daily chart and uh, also take out uh, the high of uh, Monday. I think that'll be Monday's there, won't it? Uh, let's have a look. Tuesday's high is what it is. Uh, 2163 in order to move high, but it's got the 200 MA in the way there. 
Uh, there's uh, yesterday a bit of a spike up with uh, the results and then uh, we see the market uh, moving down. Uh, it's come off the low overnight and uh, needs to get back above the DP, a bit like the GBP, JPY is uh, doing at the moment. And then finally gold also showing a bit of uh, supply or absorption volume there overnight. We're 89% aren't we on this one? We measured this up uh, uh, the other day. Yeah, we're 89. And if we go from uh, the same place to there, yeah, we're banging, you know, in that area where you'd expect to find some resistance. Good news is, though, we're a long way from the five bar moving average and uh, we're off uh, yesterday's uh, low as well. Uh, at the DP, we've had a, an attempt to get through, but uh, so far failed. We're having another look at it now. OK, that will do it for this one. Like I say, it's the CPI numbers today that are important. Um, I'm expecting them to come out lower uh, because we've not had a situation where they have yet. Um, as they've been in the interest rate increasing cycle. So uh, the law of averages says we're going to have one where it looks like, you know, it's all under control. And why not do it when you've got a situation where the markets are, are in a bit of a, a rally at the moment, dead count bounce, whatever you want to call it. But at the moment, the stock markets are moving to the upside. OK, that's it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.